I've been waiting for you and I've heard you want to come and work with me today so I can show you the office. Come. Right now we're in the hallway of our office. We work on the first floor of this beautiful Victorian building. Just check out the tiles, they look insane. Always makes for a perfect shot. All right, are you guys ready to see the office? Let's go. Come. <laughs> So right now we're in one of the two rooms that we have here in the office. If you look around, you probably recognize some of the little corners of this place because it's all over my Instagram or videos. It's a lot to cover, so I'll just start one thing at a time. This is one of my beautiful shelves. We had the same one at home. Actually, we have the same one at home. So this is just a really nice IKEA shelf. And the way we organize this is very smart and practical. You'll see what I mean right now. Um, so we have some books here, lots of my cookbooks, and then we have a kettle. So it's sort of like an art piece, but okay, actually works. It's a real kettle. I'm gonna heat it up right now <laughs> while I'm talking to you. And then, oh, wait, that's a bit too loud. <laughs> then we have this vintage camera here. This is from like early 1900s where Alex and I got this on Portobello Market. It's super cool. Can you imagine taking pictures with this? I don't even know where to look. If you look through this thing or that thing. Anyways, it does look like a really nice art piece. Before I show you more of the office, I want to just talk about the space. Because one of the things that really made us fall in love with the space, and by the way, this is the only office space Alex and I saw here in London when we first moved here two and a half years ago. When it came to finding the right flat, we looked at maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 flats, but we just got really lucky with the office. We came in here and this room looked nothing like what it looks like now. It was all the windows were covered, like all these beautiful windows were covered with blinds and honestly like it was like really like old cabinets but when we came in and actually the walls weren't white they were probably gray so when we came in we just saw the potential because if you just look around you'll see like really nice high ceilings so we knew if you just repaint the space and of course the windows is what sort of as the focal point of the room and it lets in so much natural light and when we look for an office space or house really because we film pretty much in the house and the office that's kind of one of the things that we look for is really bright spaces with lots of natural light because some of you may know some of you may not know for our videos we never use artificial lighting we only use natural light so that's just something i wanted to mention that's why when we walked in here we just knew this is the right place because of all the natural light and you'll see the other room is the same thing. So yeah, we have this um, really beautiful table that we bought, I believe, at Pottery Barn, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put all the links I can find down below. Basically, this is an older table that we had in Canada. We shipped everything with us when we moved here. So this is um, some of the stuff that we had in Canada. And these are the chairs, I believe, also from Pottery Barn. Um, what else we have in here? Okay, I want to show you guys this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces ever that we own. Okay, so when we got it, we still lived in Toronto. This is an old piece from India. I think it's over like 100 years old. And when I first saw it, I fell in love with it. But I think this, this particular item works much better when it's in a modern space because this building is Victorian, it's older. I feel like it doesn't shine as much, but we still decided to keep it because I just love it so much. And it's a really nice cabinet where we keep a lot of snacks. So I'll show you some of the snacks. So what we have here, we have some pistachios, yummy. We have some, what is this? Something Alex bought, I think it's an organic honey. We got lots of tea over here. We got, so these are amazing actually, I don't know if you've ever guys tried these. It's called Vita Snacks, it's a Euro European brand, so I don't know if they sell this in US, but it's like roasted pumpkin, banana crunch, like all these food that they just, I think air dry or something, it's like a special process that is very healthy for you. So we got that, what else do we have here? We have some olive oil that we use when we have lunch. We have some chocolate, of course. This is Alex's stash. He likes chocolate and the girls like chocolate too. Um, we have some cups. We all have a cup with a letter. These are from Anthropology. I absolutely love these cups. Uh, oh wait, this one is my little whisk and a special cup to make the matcha, matcha chai latte. Yeah, matcha chai latte, <laughs> yes. So that's what I use to make my matcha latte. 
and then what else do we have here and just some other stuff for the office like the cleaning stuff and things like that so basically this is the snack bar as we call it and then um this room in general is what we use more for like chillaxing or like having casual meetings or just if we want to meditate or take some time off or have sometimes calls because the other room you'll see is the room where we're all pretty much working on the computers um so before i go in there i want to show you some other things this couch is um, my favorite couch from ikea sadly I don't know why Ikea discontinued this couch. So you, you could actually change the covers of the couch, but because they discontinued the couch, um, they no longer sell, sell the covers separately. So that was a bit of a bummer, but you know, we're gonna use it until we can and try to be really careful with it. But I absolutely love this couch because it's so minimalistic. It works great in a modern space, so in a modern building as well as an older building because it's got modern touches like the little, um, like the little legs. And then for, because it's so wide and it's so pure, we added really nice touches with these uh, bright yellow pillows. And then let's talk about the marble table because if you are a creative person in any industry, whether food or fashion or beauty, marble table is the way to go because it's just a very photogenic space. It's like sort of a really nice surface to use for photography. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna move it around. I just like touching it even. It's like, it's a really nice texture. Can you touch it? Touch it? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it feels very comforting to touch the space and it's actually from West Elm. And what I really like about this table is that the marble is sort of cool and the legs are sort of gold. So it's a really nice mix of warm and cool tones in one piece. So, oh wait, before we move on to the other room, I have to go. So as you can see, there's lots of, going, lots of things going on here. So we got shelf from Ikea. These are absolutely great. You'll see them in the other room as well. These are great for office or home. Um, they're sort of matte, but they do have the shiny ones as well. And then you can just stack your books or stack picture frames. This is amazing and just such a nice styling for any kind of space, I think, in my opinion, and super inexpensive too. Then um, let's look at this space over here. So I have this wonderful um, body form. I believe that's what they're called. And this was a gift from Alex like years ago, probably three, four years ago, because he knew I wanted a real body form because I was learning to sew manually and I was trying to use like this machine. Um, that never worked out that well, but hey, <laughs> I still have the body form. And this is really great. Sometimes we hang stuff on it. I just like the way it works in a creative space as well. And you know, fashion and fashion design is something that I'm really into anyway. So it kind of reminds me of my bigger vision in life. And then I have this beautiful clothing rack from Ikea, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from Ikea and I actually got inspired by Shirley, check out her channel, she's my friend here on YouTube. So I, I think she posted an Instagram picture with her rack and it looked so beautiful and simplistic and I was looking at the time for a rack, I couldn't find anything. I was like, what? It's like $10 or something like that and it's absolutely minimalistic, that's what I was looking for in a rack. And then I just hang some stuff here that I, you know, sometimes I wear for pictures, if we're doing anything creative. It's always good to have, you know, extra clothes here and around the office if we're shooting pictures. And then I have some shoes here. I don't always walk in heels, but sometimes when I take a picture, I prefer to wear heels for the picture that I'm taking. Or if we're, if, again, if we're doing a lookbook or anything, I kind of store everything here. So it's nice and clean. So yeah, I think we got it all in this room. I think we can move on to the next room. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so before we go in there, I want to show you our bathroom. I mean, it's nothing special, but we do have a bathroom, so don't worry. And um, actually, we recently did a renovation and changed the floors here to hearing more floors. These are my absolute favorite floors ever. And then we updated the light, which I think is super cute. It's like a magic ball. All right. So, hello, guys. We're here, we're visiting, <laughs> showing our beautiful friends our office space. This is pretty much where we spend most of our days. Yeah. Probably more time than we spend at home. And Mimi, really, honestly, we didn't prepare much for this. Just wanna... well, There's no preparing. Yeah, no, like I was like, come on, do you want to like, make it pretty? She's like, no, this is the way I'm it like, is. Let's make it as real as it is. Um, to be fair though, we moved some things around. Um, a little bit. Just tiny little things. Tiny. That I was like, let's get some new garbage cans. Mimi was like, no. All right, so the realness. the realness is here. Let's start with the table where most of the work happens. 
I don't know why it's like everyone is drawn to this table. Even though you'll see here on the side, we have these beautiful Ermin Miller chairs, but nobody actually sits in them except for Alex. And Zana sometimes sits. No, actually, I didn't want to sit there, but that it's taken. <laughs> There's no spot for me. So yeah, let's start with this table. So usually I sit over here. This is my spot, even though I kind of make a point of switching myself from like other spots but somehow I claim the spot and I like sitting here it's the radiator. And, and the radiator is hot yeah it's a bit cool here most of the year and also I think because the building is older it's kind of cooler inside so all the girls are kind of sticking to the heater and this is Zani <laughs> so Zani does many things she juggles many different roles <laughs> uh, from you know doing Instagram accounts for dreamers and creators Instagram Five Minute Journal, uh, Berlini, what else? What else? Productivity, Productivity Planner. Yeah. To you know, helping Alex and I with just the back end of works. It's all the so, fun things. Yeah. All the fun things. <laughs> and Zani's been with us for over two years now, right? It's, I think January is exactly two years. Yeah, for two yeah. years. Yeah. And then this is kind of cat setup over there. Cat. <laughs> videos yes. and photos that you guys see on the blog or the YouTube channels, Luxy hair as well as Mini Icon. And this is an interesting setup that Kat has yeah. here. Kat, you want to talk about that? So yeah, we have the roost stand, which is, because I work, I do all my work on the laptop. So if you sit just on your laptop, you'll be always facing down, mm -hmm. but sort of this stand allows, if you open it, it opens up like that, so it allows Beautiful. your posture to be a lot better, and you're looking up as opposed to being like this all day. Like so you notice the significant difference. Since yeah, you yeah, 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 definitely. So yeah. yeah, this is how I do my things. Yeah, it looks a bit funky. You can't really see her, especially like <laughs> when she walks in. Honest. It's like there's no person there. But you know, I She's think there. when you work hours and hours in front of a computer, this is the best solution. Yeah, we should probably all get this for yeah. us. <laughs> but uh, I like yeah. to change. That's the great thing about having this space and all the desks. Yeah. I actually it's like true. working at the... Uh, yeah, if you work on the, the big, big desk computer. over here, then you don't and we, work outside. And we are working on the reconfiguring space. I still believe we can use it a lot better. Uh, because everyone's still there, but I'm like, well, that corner is not getting used. So we're kind of like, maybe introduce some bar, bar area yeah, here as yeah. well. Where you can stand up. So we definitely need this kind of There'll be an updated office to it soon. Yeah, this is a work in progress. All right. Um, so what else can I show you here? I'm going to show you my inspiration board. So this is something I do, um, I would say twice a year. Do I do it twice a year? I can't even remember. I know that I do it like usually when the seasons change, but I don't do it like every season. I just do it, let's say, one for winter, one for summer, or sometimes just once in a year. So I think it's time for a bit of a change now. I've done this, yeah, maybe it was a year actually. Now that I think of it, I think it was last January when I did this. So basically, it's a good thing to do in January if you have a space like that in your house, in your room, or maybe at work you have a desk where you can put sort of a vision board. Regardless of what career you do, you can sort of put some things that you envision for yourself and for your growth. For me, of course, because I do more creative work, so it's just some outfits that I want to wear, some things that I want to feel or experience. So again, everything that makes you sort of tick and makes you feel excited and invigorated are the things that I put here and it just kind of keeps me stimulated for the year. And then, yeah, like I said, these chairs are amazing. I absolutely love them, even though I don't spend a lot of time sitting in them. I like spinning in them. <laughs> so this is a lot of fun. And then I also want you guys to meet our friend Vasya. So Vasya is the slim. I know that Alex likes monkeys, so I think it was like a few months ago I was walking and I, with a corner of my eye, saw this little monkey in a story. There's actually different monkeys. There's one that's hanging, there's one that's holding the bulb. So they're all like, in some way, are holding the light bulb, which makes it for a really cute lamp. So I thought he would be a nice addition for our office. You like Vasya? Did I say his name is Vasya? His name is Vasya, by the way. Yeah, he's cool. We don't yeah. use them as often. His light is very harsh. Yeah, it's, it's like... very harsh. I'll try to put it on to show you guys. So, then what we have here... Yeah, for my painting. Oh, you want to talk about your painting, actually? <laughs> That's your favorite painting, so you can... So, I call this painting the Russian wedding. <laughs> 
and it's from a Russian uh, painter. And no one's crazy in the office about the painting, I'll be honest. Uh, everyone's waiting for it to get out of here. But for now, it's here. Uh, it kind of sucks here. Um, at the moment, it's, it's found this place. We're gonna find a new one soon to kind of mix it up. But it's, he's a really great painter. I really like his work. We have actually a piece in What's our house. Kalugin, so Alexander Kalugin is from Moscow. Um, great guy. He's like, if you look into the details, yeah, it's pretty there's cool. a lot of details in the painting. Um, but we're gonna get some original, we're gonna get some new updated work so we'll fit the. Yeah, we're, we're still thinking about what to do on that side of the wall, like behind where we usually sit. Um, like, spaces like this are really great to do like a collage, maybe different photographs that all look really nice together, or we're thinking to put one long mirror together. But we haven't found anything that we'll love yet, so we just kind of keep it simple. Oh, and we do have a mirror in here, by the way. Um, I don't really do many selfie shots in here because it's quite small. So usually when I try to shoot in here, um, I'll see the wall and sometimes I'll even see the door a little bit and like I'm not really crazy about that. I really like the mirror that I have at home because it's so massive and all I see is the mirror and the reflection. But it's a really cool mirror from West Elm. Yeah? Was it West Elm or Ikea? Let's tell them. Yeah, that was right. All right, so what else do we have? Alex, you want to talk about this little space? So Alex is a little of this. Yeah. He's snacking on tangerine and using his productivity planner. Yeah. Usually, I, I like to mix it up as well. Uh, so working, the desk is really cool. I don't know for some reason, there's a good vibe in that desk. So <laughs> it's uh, the table. The table, yeah, the table. Oh, the, the, whole ta the, the communal table of the space works really well. Uh, but usually, yeah, I just work here. Um, we have the shelves here as well from IKEA. Yeah, it's a really easy setup. So it, we had this right when we came. So it's just two IKEA shelves, and you put a little artwork there, and then kind of because we have really high ceilings, it helps you to like help, really make you, make you look space. up and be like, oh, okay, there's there's more interesting stuff. And like I said, it's pretty nice and easy setup that and inexpensive. Too. Inexpensive too. These yeah. shelves are like forty bucks each, I think, or even less. And, I think it was. Yeah, and just some art. And even these prints, the way you see them, they're not even actual prints. Yeah, that's a little bit. It's a good it. trick. Yeah. Well, you can say how it's you what, do Because I couldn't find anything that would fit exactly into these frames. These frames were bought in Canada like years ago. So what we did is bought this massive book. It was photographs of Mario Testino. He's a fashion photographer. And I, we basically just cut out photographs that we like. And they were a little bigger, so they perfectly fit into these frames. And then some we just ordered online as well, like the Vogue um, covers. Exactly. And, um, but yeah, like three or four out of them were from the actual book um, of Mario Testino photography. Yeah, we have books all around as well. Yeah, we have Usually, actually, we also have, we also have books that we like to give out. Yeah, we usually have lots. So, for example, Mastery of Love is a favorite. Lynchman is a must. Yeah, because sometimes I will take pictures and people will say, how come you have like so many, so many of the same, but because we just get them. And of course, 500 journals. <laughs> but not, not too many productivity planners yet. Oh! That's my favorite book. It's the Chocolate Reference Standard. Chocolate Tester 2015. Chocolate Addict. So you see my chocolate book. I told you guys. So basically I recently got this as a, a, a sort of a Christmas present for myself. <laughs> uh, I just buy stuff for myself. But it's, it's, it rates all the chocolates in the world. All the good ones. And the bad ones actually. So it's pretty incredible. And if you're in, into chocolate, this is like the bible of chocolate. Uh, really good chocolate. So yeah, that would be my little tip if you like the good chocolate all right i think we covered most of the things i will just show you this last corner which is again a more of a casual corner i love this couch we brought this from canada also this item is from west town so it's really beautiful if you have a smaller room or if you have a large bedroom it sort of makes for a really nice accent couch and that is all, that's all I have to share with you. Now I gotta go back to work because there's lots to do and I gotta get going. So I'm gonna walk you out. Unless you wanna stay and work with me. You wanna stay work with me? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so you can come and sit here at the desk. <laughs> so, um, I did not expect you staying and working with me. So this is my laptop. 
this beautiful flowers. We always have fresh flowers in the office because it kind of brightens our days, especially during gloomy winter months. It helps with the pictures as well. And helps with the Instagram <laughs> pictures for all our accounts. So we'll have tea. That's also what keeps us um, comforted and warm. My laptop, my phone, usually right beside me. I usually have my phone on airplane mode. Well, not always, but usually if I'm like focused on a certain task, I just put it on airplane mode because my dad or my mom will text me and then it will just keep buzzing and it just totally gets me distracted or anyone else, not just, sorry parents if you're watching, not just them, but just in general, like getting notifications, all of that is very distracting. And then when I finish the task, then I'll switch it back on and do the text messaging or post a picture or whatever I need to do. I have my headphones here, productivity planner, um, task number one, film office tour today, doing that and a glass of water, of course, because um, what I've been doing lately to make sure that I get enough water is I put in the amount of glasses I drink in my productivity planner, that way I know how many glasses I had. Um, you're still here? Are you sure you wanna stay here and just stare at us while we're working? <laughs> okay, so you're ready to go home, all right. Okay, I'll walk you out, let's go. It was really nice having you here. And now that you know where we are, you can come by and say hi. But I really gotta get back to work. I really am gonna miss you. Come by anytime, okay? Will you be back? Bye! See you soon!